Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ICW Television this week. We starting, we're starting off this show with a great match. It's going to be Mike Miro going against Dash Maverick. That's right, Tingle. Like I said before, Dash Maverick is my pick to win it all. I believe you said it before. You called a miracle Mike Monroe. It's a miracle the guy survived this far. He's a tag team wrestler. But don't forget, don't, don't sell Johnny Vandal and Max Stardom short. Both guys advanced last week of the tournament, and they're going to face off here today in the tournament. What do you think of that? Something else. Four incredible wrestlers, two great matches coming up. Let's go to it right now in the ring. He 
Dash, Dash Maverick. Oh my! It's a belly to belly over the top! Unbelievable! Where is Monroe getting this from? Mike Monroe, been known to pull these suplexes out of nowhere, splashes on the ribs. One, two! Dash Maverick barely kicking out of that one. And Mike Monroe has a game plan. You see he's working on those ribs, taking apart the midsection here. Monroe is very smart. Monroe knows what he's doing. He knows what he's going for. He's got his game plan. He's going to follow it. This may be a, 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 a position uh, when the tag team wrestling actually does come into play to advance for Monroe. Because, you know, tag team will pick one body part and they'll switch it and outwork them. Out and Monroe knows the Ribs are injured, and that's who he's going after. Next to it like an animal with his brain there. Dash Maverick trying to fight back out of this one. Mike Monroe trying to get out. Mike Monroe, oh, what a slam there. A side slam. Nice combo there from Dash Maverick. Trying to have the sense to grab the leg, pull him over. Gets a two count only. And Bobby, we saw some great moves from Mike Monroe. I mean, can you believe that over the shoulder, belly to belly suplex? What right? moves that was? Absolutely. You know, both men have just removed their That's it. Standing right here. Whoever wins this goes on to the top. Maverick risking it all right now. Maverick going up to the top. Right? the win out of Maverick, especially with those injured ribs. So like I say, whoever wins this match, essentially now has a 50-50 shot of becoming the new ICW champion. Like it. It's like Dash Maverick has a target painted on those ribs. And Mike Monroe keeps his hand on it. Mike Monroe switching over what? to the arm, and there's the tap out. Mike Monroe makes Dash Maverick tap. I, I don't know what to say, Tingle. I would have never thought it. Mike Monroe advancing uh, over over Dash Maverick, incredible. Not what I not what I saw coming. Absolutely miracle. Mike Monroe does it again. I can't believe it. Fans, right now, Angel Rose in the back with a few comments. Dan Regu back here with Angel Rose. Now, Angel, in two weeks, you actually have a matchup. What are your thoughts going back into this? My thoughts. You know, Ragu. Like I like to say, it's a competition. You bring your best, and uh, that's what you're going to get from me, my best. Well, easy words here from Angel Rose. Now a word from our sponsors. High Spirits, your one-stop shop for custom designs. Visit our website and get an in-depth look at what we do. Custom apparel, custom web design, and even custom t-shirts. We'll provide all the tools you'll need to make an unforgettable shirt. Visit us at HighSpiritsDesign.com. ICW No Boundaries, Saturday, June 20th at the Polish American Club. Catch ICW superstars like Johnny Van, Sean Pride, Mike Monroe, Jack Zero, and Angel Rose. For more information, find us at ICWMiami.com, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. In need of insurance, Manny Morin is your State Farm insurance agent. Visit him at MannyMorin.com where you can get a quick insurance quote on the things that matter the most to you. He's been a State Farm agent since 2000 and he's ready to help you. Give him a call at 305-598-5821. I'm here with Sean Prime. Uh, so you had that big defeat from Mike Monroe, and you confronted him uh, a week ago. I just want to know what are your thoughts on 
on that. What are my thoughts on Mike Monroe, my defeat, and uh, <laughs> where I stand right now? It's, it's really simple, uh, Lucy. Um, I'm angry. I'm very, very angry. And, uh, you know, Monroe, Vandal, everyone else involved in the tournament, I'm not going to get involved. I'm going to let things go the way that Mother Nature and God intended them to go. But Monroe, I, I have to say that all my money's now on you. I want you to be ICW champion. I want you to win against all odds because I want to beat the ever-living crap out of you. And I want to be the first one to do it and strip the ICW title out of your bloody hands. Raise it over my head and again bring home what has always been mine. Because you're too young to know this. But the ICW championship has always been mine. And just because I'm not in their tournament changes nothing. Soon, very soon, Monroe, you and everyone else is going to see the champ gets his belt and ICW becomes mine. Hail Prime. Well, that was a little scary, but let's go to the next match. Welcome back, ICW fans. Bobby, can you believe what Sean Prime said? He wants My Miracle Mike Monroe to now win the title. Well, of course, because Sean's confident. Sean thinks he can take that belt from Monroe should Monroe win, but he seems to forget that Monroe beat him earlier on in the tournament. Absolutely. Why would he want that to happen again? It's just something I can't understand. I can't believe. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and go back to the ring. sure with the elimination of Dash Maverick earlier on whoever wins this thing from here on out it will be their first ever ICW title reign neither Monroe Stardom or Johnny Vandal have ever held the ICW championship I can't think of anything more exciting than someone who's never held the goal before something fresh something new what a great way for ICW to begin and it's going to be Johnny Vandal all the way I picked him since the beginning I've been saying it all along Johnny's going to win it all the only belt in South Florida the guy hasn't held. He's going to win tonight. Tomorrow. You think he's going to do a Next full week. sweep? Absolutely. Referee Bruce Owens checking with both men, making sure everything's good. Here he is. Call for the bell. And it's already for sure. It's already known. It can't be changed. Mike Monroe is in the finals. And that's exciting. Miracle. Miracle Mike Monroe making it all the way to the finals. Can he pull it off? Can he become the new ICW champion? He's got to face one of these two men, though, and that's going to be decided right now. Hey, that's kind of like a high five. Maybe a low five because starting so short. Kind of like a mid five. A solid chop. Wow! Oh. And like I said before, Rusty Brooks has trained Monroe, he's trained Vandal, he trained Stardom. Is there any surprise Rusty Brooks would be involved with four of these guys? All four of these guys, incredible athletes, incredible wrestlers, and Rusty Brooks a big part of them. Goes to show you what, 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 what kind of good training, what kind of excellent training goes into these guys. <laughs> right this. training takes you far. And whoever gets whoever gets past the other one will go on to face Mike Monroe. Oh, look at that. And that's why he's Johnny Vandal. You saw that kick? 
right to the injured shoulder. Vandal looks like he's picked the arm to take part. Bruce Owens doing his due diligence and checking on Max Stardom. He's deemed that Stardom can continue. Stardom's not going to give up his championship dreams that, that easily, Kendall. Now both these guys here, a lot on the line. Brandon Wrights for Vandal. Matt Stardom, it's a sense of pride. And Vandal taking that gear, tearing the gear off of Matt Stardom, throwing it into the crowd. It's, it's protected, you know, that, that's, that's designed to protect the shoulder. And now that shoulder exposed, it's open season for Johnny Vandal on Matt Stardom. Vandal picking out his weak spot here. That's the problem with wearing protective gear. Sure, it helps, but it gives your opponent a target to go for. Vandal picking them apart here, literally piece by piece. Start him in a world of trouble as Vandal abuses that shoulder. This one, Tindall, is basically over as soon as it got started. Start him, you see, is favoring his arm here, trying to get up to his knees. He's got that arm cradled. Oh, see, I can never tell if the start was standing up or not. He's so tiny. Please. Vandal. Vandal with the lowering the boom there. Strong blow to the back. Vandal can pretty much, you know, take his time on this one. Stardom's injured. Stardom is being abused here. Vandal taking his time with him. Two count only. And Vandal can do that. He's, he's got him. He's got him right where he wants to tingle. You see, Vandal would usually be stressed out, frustrated, mad that he has got a two count, but Vandal knows he's got this one in hand at this point. The referee Vandal. knows it. <laughs> nice chin lock there. Has that knee back between the shoulders. Has him in a good position. Has him well under control. Stardom. Stardom needs something, anything here to swing the match back in his favor. The fans are definitely behind Stardom. Oh, jawbreaker! But is it enough? Will it be enough for Max Stardom? Look how he's holding on. Look at that wing. Look at that wing. Help me, help me fix my broken wing. Oh. It's hanging. You can see it literally hanging an inch or two lower than his other arm. Double underhook there takes, takes some over. That's going to take all the gas in the tank to do that. Absolutely, it was a great move, but it took everything out of Stardom here. Look at that Vandal, look at that arm, he holds that arm. Vandal. That wing is broken, he can't fly, Tingle. Not at all. That's one of the best arsenals, that's the best thing in Max Stardom's arsenal is his speed and his ability to fly. You take that out, and you're halfway there, so to speak. Vando back up to his knees, trying to struggle here to the corner. He's got himself up. Comes charge oh. again. Max Stardom meets him. Max Stardom with another elbow. He's fighting a sheer instinct and survival. Oh. And there's that neck drop. Survival instincts are kicking in, Tangle. And there it is, that rush of adrenaline that Max Stardom needs. Hooks him up. He's got him for a little bit of skullduggery. Swings him around. There it is, the crowd counting along as Max Stardom introduces Johnny Vandal. Who Vandal's cares that like it? Go for the count, you dummy. Ten times to the match. But Stardom is wasting time here. Stardom is going to take advantage of this moment. Charges in on Vandal, catches him right under the chin with an elbow. Goes to the outside of the ring. What's he going to do? Oh, what a smack to the back of the head via the kick there. Vandal following it up with a chop. Gets him across the shoulders. Max Stardom in a world of trouble here. Oh, takes him over. Drops the head right across the knee. Hooks the leg. One, two. But it's a two count. And Vandal can't believe it. I would have bet everything on. I would have bet my bottom dollar. That was it, Tingle. Vandal thought it was it. Vandal look looking around. Vandal can't believe it. Vandal calling for it here. Pulls him up, hoists him across the shoulders. Stardom fighting out of it. Stardom spins him around. 
Hooks him over in the package. What's this with Scorpio over there? Oh. Why is Scorpio on the ring? What's Scorpio got to do with all this? Next time he turns around, gets a knee in the back. There's Vanda with the back cracker. You can thank Scorpio for that one. Hooks the leg. One, two, no, no, three, no. It can't end like this. Johnny Vanda gets the pin. Tangle, that's it. It's set in stone. The finals will be right here next week. The battle of the beards. Mike Monroe, the miracle kid, against Johnny Vandal. Rusty Brooks trained both guys. The finals right here next week. What a week. I can't believe it, fans. It's been incredible up, all up to this point. And next week, next week, Bobby Rogers said it. We finally get an ICW champion.